Hello everyone. The following presentation will introduce several improvements within NC procedures and we'll get to know some improvements in Finnish procedures. So let's get into details. In version 15, we now have the option to select the limits by entities. A new drop-down parameter with two available options, the top or bottom by. First one is manual, as it was manual selection. Second one is entities. If we will use the new option entities, a common screen parameters will be shown. We can select the entities manually or use by criteria. The limits by criteria will improve the automation process. In addition, delta values can be added. In case of group of entities, the Z value of the highest or lowest point of all the entities is selected as the Z top or bottom value. In version 15, we have new shortcuts names. Six new global parameters were added. They are defined to be the highest Z and the lowest Z, respectively of all points of the target, picture or other as defined in the NC setup. Another new option is to connect fast motion as straight line. So the image to the left is bounding box the old method, and on the right it is straight line. In case there is no interruption on the way, the system can detect it and connect the fast motion as straight line without rise up to clear. Of course the controller must support it. Uh, in the modern machine controllers, the option to do this connection in straight line is exist. And now we allow to connect on lower Z height without rise up to clearance. So in order to um, select this new functionality, we have two options. First one is from the preferences editor. We can uh, uh, set which method will be uh, default, straight line or bounding box, or the user can uh, select it manually from the uh, clearance and UCS uh, uh, route. There is a new parameter, check fast motion clearance as straight line or bounding box. Okay, so as I mentioned, there are two options to set the fast motion. The first one is bounding box, and the second one is by straight line. From the preferences, we can set the default, check fast motion clearance as bounding box or straight line. Um, and the second option is from clearance and UCS, a new parameter, check fast motion clearance as bounding box or straight line. Okay, so we have an example. This is the geometry. And this is set as bounding box. You can see that the clearance is above the geometry. However, we can use it as straight line. And then you can see that because there is no obstacle on the way, um, the connection is in low Z height. So this new feature can be selected by the user. 
Of course, if there will be an obstacle or stock on the way, the system will rise up the clearance motion above the obstacle. In the uh, coming next slides, we will discuss on some improvements in the cutter table um, and we'll get to know some new cutters and new options. A new technology group, Circle Segment, was added. It contains all Circle Segment cutter inside. You will not find these cutters under special anymore. The cutting tools, barrel, lens, oval, and three ruddy can be utilized by Simatron Toolpath strategy. Three ruddy cutter is a new cutter in version 15. There are two options to define uh, this cutter. First option to define the tool is by upper radius height. In addition, you can see that the system calculates the angle range for best results and gives the user the output. The second option is by tapper angle. This is the angle of the tangent line to midpoint of the profile radius. Same as before, the system calculates the best slope angle for using this cutter. We now have better definition for conic tool. The tapper lens and cut lens are now separated. This is for more realistic definition. Two options to define the tool. First one is tapper lens. The second one is shaft diameter. So let's do a short demo. Click on the cutter and holder table. So we will start with the better definition of the conic tool. As you can see, the cut lens value can now be different from the tapper height value. It's mostly useful for tools that not all of the uh, tapper area is cutting area. As I mentioned, there are two options to define, tapper lens or shaft diameter. The next cutter is the three radi under circle segment. This is a new cutter for 15. So as I uh, mentioned, three radi cutters are now available under circle segment technology. There are two options to uh, define this cutter. First one is upper radius height. And the second option is by tapper angle. As you can see, the system calculates the range where the cutter mill best. So in this case is between 0 to 22 degrees and between 68 to 90 degrees. Another nice feature I would like to introduce is this one, tool setting display. Click on the icon. You have two options, display tool on selection or continuous tool display. Let's uh, use the continuous tool display and we will display it, the we will display the entire tool Let's apply, as you can see. I'm moving the cutter with the mouse. You can have proportion to see 
compared to geometry or can display the tool on selection that lay the tool somewhere on the geometry like it was before. We can uh, control the transparency and we can display the cutter without the holder. Okay, so let's continue with some uh, improvements within the finished procedures. A new option, Finish by Four Limit Angles, is available for Finish by Limit Angle and Rest Milling procedures. There is a new checkbox parameter, Advanced Limit Angle, which will open minimum and maximum angles for horizontal and for vertical regions. As we know, the circle segments tools has a limited affecting slope range. For example, this cutter has a useful range of 0 to 22 degrees in horizontal areas and a range of 68 to 19 degrees of vertical areas. Now we can have better control according to the cutter requirements. This also allows better control of angles of regular tools, for example, ball or pull nose. In this example, the tool range is between 72 to 77 degrees. We set the vertical range for 73 to 77, and you can see that the 70 degrees tapered wall is out of range and no motion were created. For those of you who are using the option limit number of layers in Z limits advanced mode, new options are available. They are available for layers or helical. In addition to the old limit, number of layers, which is dealing with the top layers, the new options are dealing with the bottom layers. The first option is machine only and bottom layers. We can set a number of bottom layers to be create and the rest of the layers will not create. The second option is the opposite the number of layers to be exclude. Number of layers which the system will not create at the bottom. The third option is machine only approximate bottom height. Approximated Z height can be set. The number of layers is calculated by the system and the parameter is grayed out. And the last parameter for this new option is exclude approximated bottom height. Basically, it's the same uh, uh, ID as before, just the opposite. We can set uh, approximated Z height and the system will exclude this height. Same as before, the number of layers is calculated by the system and the parameter is grayed out. In version 15, a new feature to define the scallop directly. It is available for vertical and for horizontal motions. The scallop size can be defined instead of the step. The step size is calculated by the system automatically. It is depending on the cutter and the average slope. For example, when milling by horizontal method, let's say parallel, the height of the scallop is influenced by uh, three parameters, the cutter shape and size, the horizontal step, and the slope of the surface. 
if the scallop is given and we want to know the required horizontal step, we have to consider three parameters, the cutter shape and size, the scallop, and the slope. Now, we don't know the slope because it is changing inside the area. So we have to approximate it. The approximation we do is by using the average between the lowest and the highest possible angle within the region. From this reason, the actual result are average scallop around the part. Another project for version 15 is a continuous motion without jumps to clear. We have improved the connections in finish by layers where layers are more or less coincidence. So the direct connections for coincident layers will happen in case the parameter machining by sets to layers connect passes via clear for distance is bigger than the gap and the angle between the walls is less than 15 degrees. In version 15, the constraint conditions of the parameter by region were refined. This resulted with what seems to be better region recognition. Calculated result may include more air motions, which in some cases may look like a regression. Extended region parameter was added. It behaves more or less like the parameter region from version 14. So the user can select which option he would like to use. And the last slide for this presentation is basically a tool pass quality improvement. Uh, avoid sharp approach and retract. Basically, this was a bug fixing. What uh, is happening is when approach or retract fails, a round corner are created by shorting the milling pass. You can see the tool pass from version 14 and the improvement in version 15. You can see that the approach and retract motions are now round. No more uh, sharp approach and retract. And this will improve the uh, tool pass quality and the surface quality, of course. Okay, so thank you for watching this presentation, and now you are welcome to do the exercise. Bye-bye.